What's up guys, Spencer here. We're back doing another YouTube video for you guys. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be briefly touching base on what is called BEC voltage. Um, I've gotten many questions over the years of, do you adjust this, what is it? Um, in today's video, I'm gonna be kind of generally talking about um, what it is, how to tune it, do I adjust it, and um, maybe educating you on something that uh, you didn't know about. Um, so let's get right into it. So ultimately when it comes to BEC voltage, uh, for those who don't know what that means, it means battery eliminator circuit. It essentially controls the voltage that is regulated from the speed control to the receiver. The ESC, the XR10s, um, gen generally most of the hobby wing speed controls, um, or even other speed controls on the market have a BEC voltage, um, adjustment setting that you can tune. Um, most of the ESCs come with it at six volts or 7.4. And this is something that can be utilized and changed also in electric eight scale um, racing as well, or even um, hobbyists for tuning settings. Um, recently, I've kind of encountered some um, testing servo speeds. And this is something that I've been recently learning over the last several weeks. Um, I run Savox servos. Many people run ProTech, Reedy, whatever it may be. And a lot of the different servos on the market have um, specs based off voltage. On the back of this servo, the spec on this servo says 7.4 volts at 0 0.080 speed at uh, 388 ounces of torque. Um, and then 8.4 volts, the speed gets faster, 0.065 to um, for the speed and then 486.1 ounces um, for the holding power. So you can see that the speed got quite a bit faster and had a lot more um, ounces of torque uh, is what they refer that to as the holding power. And what I've noticed with how I used to set up my speed control BC voltage has historically always been six volts. And recently with the new servo technologies and understanding a lot more about what these settings actually do, um, I found that I have been kind of hurting a little bit of the servo performance. Um, restricting the power of the servo at six volts um, is something that I had always set to. And recently with the looking into a lot more deeper of how these servos are working, the voltage that they need to have the full capability of performance with the servo speed, the servo holding power when you're turning in corners. And this is something that um, I've tested recently at Hobby Action and found that um, a little setup tip. So um, basically what I'm trying to say is, uh, especially with the servos on the market, I think six volts is definitely a little bit too low uh, when it comes to um, the BEC voltage. And I would highly recommend changing your servo speeds to, uh, or excuse me, the BEC voltage to 7.4, um, probably at the highest. I've recently ran seven volts and I saw a tremendous improvement with the servo um, uh, speed, consistency, holding power of just kind of the servo health for that matter is what you want to call it. So I'm gonna go in and do a brief kind of example of what it's exactly doing. I'm gonna do an overlay of my car and wiggle the wheels and show you the servo speed. And then I'll change the voltage from six volts to 7.4 so you can see. Now, many of you are probably gonna ask, okay, well, what happened to slowing down your servo speeds on your radio to make it so it's not so twitchy? So this is a whole separate different conversation. I. Um, from what I've read and experienced, when slowing down your speed control, or sorry, the, the radio to your servo, it doesn't physically change the voltage that gets drawn into the servo. It's simply just the signal and how it manipulates in the radio to your servo. Um, so you don't have to worry about the servo getting too fast because you can still utilize this, the um, radio to your servo. So. Let's get right into it. I'll show you a little bit of what's actually happening and uh, you can see for yourself. 
So in this particular video, this is um, set at BEC voltage 6 volts. I'm going to wiggle the wheels, show you a couple of the different um, differences of how the card turns with the speeds and a little bit of the, like the holding power. And um, you can see how it, how it changes. So in this video, I'm going to change the BEC voltage to 7.4, hit save, and then turn the car off. And this is 7.4 volts on the BEC voltage. You can see that the holding power is quite a bit more and the speed's quite a bit faster. So essentially, with the speeds and everything different, this is something that you'll have to maybe readjust on your radio settings if you think it's too fast. But the servo health itself and making it work properly and not so starving for voltage, I highly recommend changing it to 7.4 volts. And I guarantee you, you will have a much better uh, performance um, with better steering in corners, uh, timing will be better, and... Um, I highly recommend it. One last thing before I let you guys go, um, highly recommend you guys checking out your servo that you're currently running in your vehicles and you can kind of see the difference between the different voltages. Um, some servos might need a little bit more voltage than others. What I found with my servos, especially even the Protec servos, is the servos are starving for voltage if they're under six volts and it actually ends up running a little bit hotter, less efficient, your timing is a little bit off. Um, so highly recommend changing the voltage a little bit higher, 7.4. Um, you'll see a severe difference in performance. Servo will run a little bit cooler, which I don't exactly have temperature issues with the servo. But really utilizing these ESC settings when it comes to your racing performance on the track. Um, so it's super cool that um, we're able to adjust this setting, especially in 10 scale and I will be doing it more in electric aid scale. So um, as always, guys, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you guys have any questions, leave me a comment below. As always, I always um, appreciate you guys liking and subscribing to the YouTube video. My name is Spencer Rifkin. This is the Hobby Wing YouTube channel. Check us out on um, YouTube and Facebook and also Instagram for the latest updates on the uh, products and racing team. Um, looking forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Later.